Welcome, fellow cooks, to another edition of Blue Collar Cooking, and I'm Larry, your host. Well, as always, let's start by thanking our sponsors, Second to None Entertainment and Lo Bianco Vineyards. Always there from the beginning to the end, that's a friend. Today we're going to do something a little different. We're going to do a three-part series. We're going to do a vegetable. We're going to do a starch, which is going to be baked macaroni and cheese. And we're going to do a bacon-wrapped pork tenderloin. And that macaroni and cheese is going to be some chorizo. So today, basically, it's going to be pork and pork and vegetables and macaroni and cheese. All the healthy stuff, right? I think so. So like I said, first one's going to be roasted vegetables. We have some peppers, some red onions, and some squash, and some carrots, and some butternut squash, which is something special. On the second piece of that, we're going to do a baked macaroni and cheese. I have two types of pasta in there, a rigatoni and a farfalla, which is the bow tie. We're going to put three different cheeses in there. I have provolone, I have edam, and I have gouda cheese. All very good. The third piece is going to be a bacon-wrapped pork tenderloin. You're going to love it. So one at a time. It's like we always say, from the pan to your belly in 30 minutes or less. First things up, roasted vegetable. Let's get cooking. Okay, so roasted vegetables. Like I said, two types of peppers, squash, zucchini, red onion, carrots, and butternut squash are already in there. Okay? So I'm not going to cook, cut everything for you. I'm just going to show you how to cut them quick. I'm just going to take the ends off. I like to just come right down the middle on them. Come one more time on them. As you come across, put them in decent sizes. Right? You don't want anything too small out there. Let's go with the pepper. Come right down the center. You got one side, two sides, three sides, four. Don't forget to use this. Always a good part. Take all the seeds out to the best you can. Just put them in slices if you want. Cut them once more. Cut them any way you want. As long as they're big enough, you can put them on a fork. Nothing too big, nothing too small. Put it all in. Let's just get with the onion now. I like to cut the onion in eighths if you can do it. Get some decent sized pieces in there. Get that one more time. Throw that in there. Be right back. Okay, so we have everything cut, nice. I'm gonna take some salt, salt everything. I know, the Food Network says I'm not supposed to make this noise when I'm taping. I don't care. Again, blue collar cooking. So, the origins of blue collar cooking was real simple. <laughs> I'm tired, there's some olive oil, of watching people on TV spend thousands and millions of dollars and hundreds and hundreds of hours putting a cooking show together, trying to show me how to cook. When I can do the same thing for all my friends and my people and fellow cooks out there like me, in 30 minutes or less, with a substantially less budget, I must add, and oh, by the way, my entire camera crew is right here. So. We just put some olive oil, some salt, some pepper. Now don't do this to your family, they deserve better than just that. What you need to do is take some cheese, some breadcrumbs, throw a little different flavors in here from time to time because roasted vegetables are great. Put them in the oven, take about 20 minutes to a half hour, take a shower, walk the dog, change your diaper or two, whatever you gotta do. Again, blue collar, you work for a living. You don't have, you're not home, you don't have people making dinner for you. Just give it a little different flavor. A little more olive oil on top of that. You can add a little spice to it if you want. A little bit of pepper flake. If you have kids, do not add the spice. They're not crazy about it. Now, here's a trick. Blue collar, not a lot of money, but a lot of ideas. They run this country and have built it from the ground up. Here's what we do. You don't want to get oil on your hands? Take some Ziploc bags, preferably one you've already used. Make sure they're clean on the outside. Put one on each hand. There we go. And mix it. Mix it, turn it up, turn it inside out. Make sure the oil and the salt and the pepper gets on everything inside of here. Now I'm gonna do something in the end. I'm gonna throw a little, couple extra special flavors in there. See there's a lot in here. By the way, the oven preheated at 325. 
It's a convection oven, so it does it all by itself. Again, the more you can eliminate from the decision making when you're cooking, the easier life is. Right, here we go. This is good. Voila, watch this. Take the bags, throw them away. How easy was that? Oh, off camera, okay. Back on camera, last piece. I'm gonna take some balsamic vinegar. Just throw it on there, a little bit. And by the way, uh, the shout out, I noticed that a lot of my friends and fellow cooks have children that watch this show, which I do like. So today, my shout out will be to my buddy Alex, who will be eating this later on. I want her to know that this was made with her in mind, our first year in kindergarten this year in Fieldston. Way to go, Alex, my buddy. So, here we go. Roasted vegetables, ready to go. Pop them in the oven. 325, 20 minutes, half hour. You will smell them when they're done. All right, this one's getting posted. Next up, baked macaroni and cheese. See you in a few.